City plans to turn the area into the place to be in downtown Omaha, while also connecting it to the Missouri River. If you've been down to the area recently, you've likely noticed that familiar landmarks are gone and ready to be replaced. Reporter John Kipper got an update on the construction. John? Jenny, I spoke with Mecca today, who's overseeing the project, and they say it's on time and on budget, and in fact, it may even be a bit ahead of schedule. This is the view you have when you try to look out at Gene Leahy Mall. Blocks of blacked out fencing with viewing holes giving you a taste of the progress and what they're currently working on. The thing that right now has been the most labor intensive would be some of the work that you're seeing right now. That includes filling in where the lagoon used to be. For that, they need a lot of dirt and time. So that's something that will take 93,000 cubic yards of dirt to bring that up to street level. That's 9,300 dump truck loads. So far, they've removed the pedestrian bridges, demolished them all from 11th to 14th Street, and brought dirt to street level from 13th to 14th. Work is going well enough, they now plan to close down Heartland of America Park in the fall, something they weren't planning on doing until early next year. And that's just because the team's moving along well, they think that they can tackle that part of the project. And those huge chunks of limestone from the mall aren't just trash. Instead, they repurposed them here at Humble Park to replace their amphitheater seating. Previously, they had used like concrete blocks and two by fours for seats for day campers, and hundreds of kids use that camp every year. Now, they have like brand new limestone seating that looks much nicer. Talk, it'll be a two shot up and for those curious, the famous slides are going to stay. They're simply just figuring out what to put around them. Reporting in studio, John Kipper, 3 News Now.